Well, I think he's got a very good point. Let's begin. Now, it may not seem like it, but Brexit happened around six years ago, and whilst many thought that mainly actually due to a lot of Ramona MPs in Parliament, that it might not actually go too smoothly, especially when that whole people's vote desperate attempt to overturn democracy seemed to be about everywhere. But, you know, I could be wrong, but I'm sure that most people thought that once we actually left the transition period, and that ended, that would be a free sovereign country once again. Yet recently, the European Convention of Human Rights, the ECHR, has actually kind of peed on our bonfire a bit, and I'm not actually just talking about their overturning of the Rwanda flight a couple the days ago. But it's actually now starting to make me think of two things. Firstly, why didn't we actually sever ties with this when we ended the transition period? And secondly, how much more are they going to try and interfere in a sovereign country's decisions? I mean, wasn't that kind of one of the whole points of Brexit, that we can just decide things for ourselves? As a country, and I mean, I can't exactly imagine them telling somewhere like America what to do. I mean, just imagine it. Listen, planet Earth, whether you're a sovereign country or not makes no difference at all. From now on, I will rule you all and you must do everything I say. <laughs> okay. Simon says, So it's actually good news to hear that, according to the Daily Express, Nigel Farage had something to say about it. Because the article says that Mr Farage tweeted, Left-wing lawyers now dictate our immigration policy. Time to leave the ECHR and finally complete Brexit. And I think he's right. The former MEP's call comes as Downing Street today said it was not ruling out exiting the ECHR. Asked if the government could withdraw from the convention, the Prime Minister's official spokesman said, We are keeping all of our options on the table, including any further legal reforms that may be necessary. Necessary. Well, you know, it does make me wonder, was it just a bit of an oversight or something just to replace some Ramona MPs that hit in Parliament at the time? But when it comes to interfering with the country's decision about, I'm guessing, the majority of boot people who entered our country in a very, you know, unofficial way with no application form, no paperwork and no criminal records check even. From the safe country of France, that is, remember, then surely that must be overturned. But if that wasn't bad enough for you, then in this video, I'll go through the nasty things that some said about the free service they were getting, which, to be honest, was far from grateful in my opinion. Anyway, subscribe to stay updated, and I'll see you in the next one.